This is, for what it's worth, the world's first Mary Worth podcast. Sam and Eric use coarse language, and if you are offended by coarse language, please save yourself some trouble and cover your ears. I ain't got nobody. Nobody cares for me. I'm so sad and lonely. I ain't got nobody except love songs and love. Humana, bebola, zebola, boobola, humana, bebola, zebola, bop. And this is for what it's worth, the world's first and only Maryworth podcast. My name's Sam. And I'm Mary. Oh, we've been vacated from the premises of the haunted house. That asshole. Some stupid priest came in. Uh, Let's back up. We're dead, we've been haunting a house. And some stupid priest came in, splashing holy water everywhere. Got it right in my eyes. And, of course, you know what holy water does to ghosts like us. It burns. Oh. Eric and I had to go down to the Shell Mart and go into a public bathroom like a couple of animals, and I had to help him rinse his eyes out. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) And, uh, so now, uh... Oh, we could have gone back to hell after we were exercised, but, um, Eric came up with the great idea to go haunt our old studio. See if we can go find it. I think we're pretty close. Yeah, um, there's the, uh, there's another Shell Mart. That's a weird, uh, weird coincidence. Uh, but, uh, that's the Shell Mart where I would always go to get a little drink and a snack before the show. Uh, it should be just around this corner. Oh, goodness! Oh my god, there it is. There's the crater! Where we were smashed by a meteor all those weeks ago. Let me go get a, get a close look here. I'm going to walk, walk, walk up if I were... I have legs, I'd walk. But, uh, oh yeah. You know, I'll just you're hover a, up. You're a ghost, so you're I'll hovering. Hover. And, uh... Oh my god. Sam, do you see this? I, I do, in fact... Diamonds! I know, look at it. Everything's diamonds. The heat so and the pressure from the impact turned the ground where our studio used to lay into a solid sheet of diamond. Yeah, I, I wasn't talking about that, though. Come. Oh. Look at this. Look what's buried under it. Oh my god. Eric, it's our those. Bodies. Our bodies. I thought... are... Oh my god. They're just encased in diamonds. I thought they were burned to cinders. You know what that means. I do know what that means. Um, listen, I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve, because as you know, in life, uh, I was into the voodoo a little bit. Yep. And I happen to know a very useful incantation that mm. lets you uh, inhabit uh, a physical thing. Oh. Uh, well, we should probably get our bodies out of there first, so... Well, yeah, that goes without saying. And then I'll start with the voodoo. So, um... Since I'm doing the voodoo, you should do the digging. The dig-do. Alright, I've, I've got just the thing. Uh, while I get that set up, I want to start uh, doing a recap of what happened last week. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, this is our Mary Worth podcast, and we're going to talk about Mary Worth while Eric is setting up uh, some digging equipment that we keep in our portable yep. studio. Of course. Some excavation machines. Um, All right, let me see. I have this hose here. No, no, go ahead. Don't, don't let oh, me don't, stop you. Okay. Uh, man, look at you. You're just the, the junior archaeologist over here, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> Are you saying, saying things, uh, things might be a little bit loud, so you might want to speak a little, uh, a tiny bit louder. Okay. Um, h- how's this? Oh, that's good. Okay, so last week on Merry Words, Wilbur and Don got back to America. And they went to Mary's for dinner, and Mary made, forced them to relive the horror and the pain of surviving a cruise ship disaster. And at the end of the week, he checked in with Wilbur's boss, J. Jonah Jameson, and he said he had an idea for a hot scoop to, uh, to turn the paper around and get some more readers. Eric, turn that fucking thing off. 
so sorry, it's a, it's done anyway, so we can get going with this week's strips if you want. Oh yeah, definitely. I warn me next time that this is gonna be like really loud. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, I should I should be more mindful of our podcast. Oh, God, got a headache now. Anyway, uh, Monday's strip. Wilbur's editor has plans for him. Weston, we're in a prime position to pull in new numbers. And you're the man to make it happen in our octagonal business here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we here on the Lex Corp. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Look at these buildings here that compose the Santa Royale skyline. Got one that looks has like a little slope coming off of it there. That's a uh, that's so Jackie Chan can jump out of one of those windows yes. and slide down to the bottom. I <laughs> think some, some kind of banner. <laughs> uh, the uh, the one to the right of that that gray uh, cube up on top descends into the building. It's the penthouse suite, but sometimes they you know pull it in for low flying aircraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of confused as to what shape the, uh, the Santa Royale Gazette's, uh, building is supposed to be in. Mm-hmm. I count one, two, three, four sides. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're right. So, I guess we're right eight. Yeah, maybe eight on that the other sides. That's, <laughs> qu- that's quite an impressive building they've got there. Uh, so, um, I... Not much to say here. It's there. <laughs> no, uh... Tuesday? Tuesday. You survived the Italian ship disaster. You can write a first-person account of what happened. Yeah, I can. Has anybody ever told JJJ that it's impolite to point? Yep, and, um... <laughs> are we sure this is, uh, J. Jordan Jameson? Or, or is it Clint Eastwood? <laughs> you survived the Italian ship disaster. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not on your lawn. I'm in your office. <laughs> Why are you calling me racist spurs? Grand Torino. <laughs> we can do a weekly series of special write ups. I can see the headline now. I shouldn't be alive, but I am. Truer words have never been spoken. I think Wilbur could start writing uh, events uh, much earlier than than this uh, (laughs) boat crash. Wilbur could make any headline about his life that headline. When I was five, I tried to swallow. Five marbles at once. <laughs> I guess four marbles is my limit. <laughs> <laughs> he just recounts every time he's cheated death. <laughs> his, enti- or, his entire life. He's going to milk this for everything that it's worth. Either that, or, or both every time he's cheated death, or any time he has done something... Where he has thought that he has no place in this world. Yes. <laughs> One time, I dropped a whole pizza face down in the kitchen. <laughs> I just scooped it back into the box and ate it like a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Wilbur. I shouldn't be alive, but I am. <laughs> I'm a monster. Somebody should have killed me by now. <laughs> <laughs> um... Also, uh, of note, uh, if you look, Wilbur's tie doesn't have an outline, so I think he's just painted yeah. <laughs> his tie onto his shirt. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's made of, like, chicken wire. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 that, it's the new thing that's in vogue in, in, in Italy right now. Is, chicken, uh, chicken wire lip pads. It's always people, great. People making, uh, people making clothing out of fencing. <laughs> <laughs> that's someone says, like, a wooden plank. Hanging from their neck. Um, I also like that Wilbur's uh, inherited the uh, the pumpkin orange jacket from the men that pass it oh. around in Santa Royale. And they were so sickened by his inappropriate jokes. They're like, will you shut up? I give you my coat. Just take the orange jacket and get out of here. 
Finally, I belong to the Orange Jacket Club! Oh. Oh boy. W -w 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 wednesday Wednesday. There is strong positive item to this. Readers be interested in my first person shooter. I mean, no, <laughs> first person death perspective. I call it Half Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> People play intrepid journalist Wilbur Weston <laughs> as he fights against the Combine and head crabs. Oh wow, sounds like fun. That jacket he's wearing—it's the—it's uh, the orange, and there's a little lambda <laughs> lapel pin. Absolutely, that's my only line in that panel, so I figured I'd just throw it out there. I didn't have anything to say about it. Absolutely. Is uh is Mr. Jameson growing weed in his office, Eric? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Weston, on a toke up a little? Hey. All right, Weston, now that we're both on the same page, let's get blazed. <laughs> I like that Wilbur's, like, main concern is about the amount of buzz there is about the disaster. I know. It's like, it's not a tragedy, it's a marketing opportunity. It's like, this is hotter than Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking about this. They say lightning doesn't strike twice, but for old Wilbino, it sure does. <laughs> First hand, horrible tragedy where hundreds of people die, and now he can finally cash in on it. Cha ching. Woo! Hop on that gravy train to the next panel. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Mary writes as Ask Wendy. In the wake of tragedy, what can we learn? Mary's got one of those new futuristic half keyboards that don't have all the buttons on it. Yeah. <laughs> also, she seems to be uh, missing her neck. Uh, she, she's like E.T. Her neck just kind of slides in and out of her body. <laughs> she's retreating into the Mary shell. <laughs> Only instead of a beautiful yeah. shell, she's uh, she's got a very smart-looking pantsuit and pearl necklace. Yep. Oh, it's lovely. It's just this legless torso laying on the ground, and then Mary's body slowly <laughs> emerges from the sl sleeves and the neck hole. Hey, uh, speaking of bodies, I, I think ours are not ready to go over there. Hey, man. You know, I've only ever looked at myself in a mirror. I've never actually, like... Looked at myself no, with my just, eyes. This is kind of weird. Um, I don't like it. Um, you, you, said, you said you had a, uh, an incantation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, hang on, I'm going to do this real quick while I've got the opportunity to. I'm going to kiss myself on the lips. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> hang on a second here. Mwah! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. What's it taste like? Well, before I got encased in diamonds, I'd had some Olive Garden for lunch. Oh. So, that garlic's been sitting there for seven or eight weeks. <laughs> it's become quite potent. Also, oh. I now finally understand why no girls want to kiss me. Because <laughs> that oh. was grody. <laughs> anyway, here we go. It's uh, It's magic spell time. All right. Um, I've painted my face up, I've got a, I've got my whole head painted black, and I've got a skull painted on the front of that, and I'm wearing a top hat. Yes. Uh, I got some awesome. chicken feathers tied to a stick. This is how you do voodoo, right? Oh yeah, you look, you look awesome. I totally look the part. Okay, um, I'm going to put my hand, uh, put your hand on your forehead, and I'll put my hand on mine. And, uh, then we need to hold hands. Uh, n nothing weird or anything, dude. Okay. Adey Dewey Dimbella, give me the power I beg of you. Zaku zentie me pouvoir de mort. Andele porte buase Dimbella. Lightning strike. It worked. All right, we're back in our bodies. Hey, yep. Eric. Eric, hold still. Purple nurple. Ow. <laughs> Haven't been able to do that since we died, because you had no <laughs> earthly nurples to perp. 
<laughs> I'm sorry I perped your nurple. Oh, that's all right. You've been waiting for quite a while for that one. Ah, uh, it's a it's a for what it's worth tradition that at some point during every show, I give Eric a purple nurple, and he usually cuts it out because he doesn't want to be <laughs> embarrassed. Hey, actually, uh, funny thing, ghosts don't have nipples. Uh, I'm sorry, nurples, Eric. Not yet, they're... Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Actually, uh, uh, a really funny sco- story. Uh, ghosts have like eight nipples, like a dog. <laughs> Can we go to Thursday now? God That's damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do Thursday's comic strip. Thursday. Aside from the obvious safety checks, each of us take away different lessons. Like what, Mary? From major life events. What? She she didn't... They... (laughs) Did they just run out of room in the previous panel and continue the sentence in the next? Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Some of us change our views on what's important. (laughs) Boop, boop, boop. Dawn. I... Hello. Hi, Dawn. Dawn. Is Dawn wearing a lavender friar's robe in that picture? (laughs) She's wearing a a forever lazy. (laughs) She's given up on life. She's just laying around on the couch. (laughs) Game of Thrones Season 2 DVD. Oh. Life is brutal, but this time I have the life experience to appreciate it. (laughs) Good old Dawn. She sure did learn her lesson. Hey, Mary, you, you got something on the back of your head there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dawn, she's like looking at the back of Mary's head. <laughs> your hair's kind of messed up in the back, Mary. You want me to get that for you? <laughs> uh... All right, Friday. Uh... Yeah, let's do Friday. Boy and Geely at 8.31. Oh, that's not a speech bubble? (laughs) Some people reevaluate their lives and find a major life change is necessary after a big event. Whoa, whoa, Mary's mommy's grown about two times the size. (laughs) She's doing this on the TV in the living room. Yes. (laughs) She just dragged her keyboard in there and set it on the entertainment center. And the keyboard, too. Is she shrinking? What's going on? (laughs) (laughs) Mary uh, has a room in her house where everything is 1.5 times the proper (laughs) scale so that she can go in there and feel like a little baby. (laughs) It sounds cute, but it's really weird. <laughs> it just um, doesn't know what, to, know what to think of it. Is Mary entering this email into, like, an Excel spreadsheet? Yep. <laughs> She's going to have to cosign the variables and assign yep, a sum right. to something. I don't know about Excel. <laughs> Whatever we take away, we can agree that by helping each other... We are helping ourselves by making the world a better place. Um, where's Mary's right arm coming from? <laughs> Is it growing out of the middle of her stomach? Yep. I think so. I think it's got like an alien situation going on. Except it's another Mary Worth coming yes. out of her rather than a faceless <laughs> beast creature. Yep, uh, I don't think that's supposed to be pink there, uh, colorist or... No, I, I think what happened is um, Joe forgot to draw the lines and then whoever yes. colored it just went with it. He said, fuck it. Whatever, I have to put up with this shit day in, day out. Oh, uh, what you don't know is that uh, uh, Joe gets his, like, uh, six-year-old granddaughter to color in the, uh, the panels. <laughs> <laughs> That's why everything is all these bright and garish colors. So it's got kind of color by number. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he throws open Photoshop, and he just says, Okay, sweetie, get to work. That's me, heart. Don't color outside the lines. Yep, okay. <laughs> and then he's out of there. 
Um, I have gone to the Mary Worth uh, Cafe Press site, the official Mary Worth store. Yeah. And they do not have anything near as good as the I Love Santa Royale cup on know, Mary's desk. Hell? Come on, we're gonna we're gonna have to make that. There's like, for those of you who don't know, there is a Mary Worth Cafe Press, and it is official. And there's <laughs> like, there's like a picture of Mary Worth like with some gardening shears, and she's like cutting the heads off of roses or something. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> and then there's a, there's a picture of three Mary Worths just kind of standing there, but they don't make any sense. They're howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's one where she's <laughs> howling at the moon. I just got it. Ah! <laughs> uh, there's also one where she's uh, holding a telephone and saying, Hello, this is Mary Worth. Can I help you? <laughs> There's no I Love Santa Royale anywhere in there, well, and I would buy the fuck out of that. I got a, a, a phrase for you. What's that? For what it's worth, merchandise. For what it's worth, merchandise. Right now, yes. on this For What It's Worth store, you can go to it. It's um, a I dollar love... sign, another dollar sign, <laughs> and a third dollar sign. FWIW.co.uk <laughs> slash merch. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the, the I love Santa Royale mug. The problem is, um, there we couldn't afford the capital to make them full sized coffee mugs, so we got those little novelty coffee mugs you can get at Holiday <laughs> World <laughs> or Six Flags. <laughs> you can drink like a like an espresso out of it. It's, uh, it's um, yeah, it's, it's a shot. It's, We've also got decorative spoons, collectible spoons. <laughs> and they have Mary's face on the end of them. Uh, on the end that you eat out of, so yes. the actual spoon part is shaped like Mary's head. It's uh, delicious. So remember that URL, kids. It's three dollar signs, <laughs> fwiw.co.uk slash merch. Um, some smiley faces in there. Uh, yeah, a couple of, uh, a less than sign and a three, um, and use the coupon code BUMBO to receive 15% off oh, of wow. your order. Sounds good. Audible.com. All right. <laughs> uh, Saturday? Saturday's comic. Helping each other is essential if we are to survive as a species. Mary, for God's sake, sit up straight. I know, she's leaning right into the monitor. <laughs> Don't get so close to the monitor, Mary, you'll go blind. Hurt your eyes, you'll hurt your back. You're too old for this. Yeah, you should really sit up straight. I spend a lot of time at the computer at work, and if I find I'm slouching by the end of the day, ugh. And it's... I don't think your fingers are on homework, so you might want to <laughs> brush up on your, on your typing as well. It looks like Mary's keyboard is... Just each button's about a full square inch. That's <laughs> She's got, you know, those like novelty calculators that are, you know, yeah. like as big <laughs> as a sheet of paper. She's got a keyboard like that. Otherwise, we will destroy what we've strived so hard to build our order, our structure, our quality of life. I have a feeling Mary's going to start talking about uh, killing millions to. Save billions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have uh, the city of the background. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like she's giving anybody advice. It seems like she's writing her manifesto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Oh my god, you know those uh, those Che shirts? Yeah. <laughs> we should make one with Mary Worth wearing a beret. Uh. <laughs> and we can sell that in the For What It's Worth store. Good idea. Yes. We're going to monetize this if it kills us. <laughs> <laughs> so soon, Mary's going to summon a giant psychic squid, and that's it. That's Bye, Santa Royale. That, and she'll just clasp her hands in joy. I did it. I did it. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <And> she skips. <laughs> <laughs> skips right out the room. Um, Outside. Oh. Uh, Ian Cameron will um, explode Wilbur Weston. Wilbur uh, <laughs> just do it! <laughs> <laughs> Ian uses his amazing godlike powers to explode him. Uh, his, his amazing powers of condescension. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so, uh, Sunday, Sunday. We, doing some, we doing Sunday? Sure, why not? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Mary continues to write the Ask Wendy feature while its regular columnist is on special assignment. <laughs> Mary's looking a little pale there. Yeah. <laughs> There's not very many features <laughs> colored in or shaded on her face. She's just stunned by what she sees. Dear Ask Wendy readers, I want to talk about helping one another. This planet is at a critical stage in its existence. Is there or something that we don't? This seems to be, like, something that you would find written in a notebook in, like, millimeter high letters and there are like 300 of them on a bookshelf in a serial killer's apartment (laughs) it's essential that in order for humanity to survive we reach out to others and crush the weak (laughs) we clean the gene pool (laughs) only the strong survive it's nice that she got the uh, Mary Worth font face on her her computer. <laughs> it's a really good typeface, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder, because of Mary and all of her magic powers, I wonder if she is aware that she is in a comic strip. Yeah, I don't know. Help one another to do what we can where we are with what we have. Once again, this week, they just ran out of room in one panel and continued the sentence in the next panel. Yep, that's how comic books work. Like, that's not even a good place for an ellipsis. Meanwhile, Wilbur writes a personal account of his ship ordeal for his newspaper. I mean, what's up with that? It started as a dark, but possible stormy night. Uh, that's some A-plus writing from old Will Beano. <laughs> Aha! Uh-huh. I'm I'm confused. I turn my head like a puppy. What if um? Once upon a time, <laughs> but not so long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, but not in a different galaxy, but in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me Ishmael. Call me Wilbur. <laughs> it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And it was my vacation time. He's just looked through a list of the way that other things have been started and yes. he's just going for it. <laughs> so, that's the end of the week. Um, yeah, that's it. Should we do that, uh... A real, uh, real thrilling week. Yeah, really. Uh, did we spend, what was it, six days watching Mary write an email? Yep, pretty much. All right, cool. Keep up the good work. We're at this break- breakneck pace in Mary Worth. Wowie, wow. zowie. Uh, so, so, worthy moment of the week? Yeah, let's do What are you doing it? What are you We're doing good. it? Let's do a merry word of the end of the week. <laughs> All right. So, Eric, what's your worthy moment of the week? My worthy moment of the week is Wilbur throwing his hands up on Tuesday and, and looking a bit like Hal Roker. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a white Hal, Hal Roker. <laughs> he does look very broker like His fat little neck sticking out of his suit like that. Now here he likes happening in your neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Wilbur dreams of being. Now that Al Roker has lost uh, all that weight. Now that Al Roker has passed away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, no, he's not dead yet. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this episode of For What It's Worth to the memory mm-hmm. of Al Roker. Poor guy. We're going to miss you, buddy. So, what was your worthy moment of the week? Uh, man, I I hate to say it, but I have the same worthy moment of the week as you. (laughs) Can we do that? Because there was really nothing worthy happened. 
nothing else happened that was worthy of anything other than Wilbur with this goddamn delighted grin on his fat little face <laughs> saying, I shouldn't be alive, but I am. Oh, you stand. You rascal. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was reading this, when I read this strip on Tuesday, when it was actually uh, first put up, I made this awful noise. I was sitting in my office, and I just went, Because I, I didn't want to, like, be laughing to myself in my office. Yeah. So I was trying to make it sound like I was coughing. Yeah. But I was, tr like, the laugh overpowered the fake cough, so I just made this horrible, like, I'm being strangled noise. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got up awesome. and I walked into the bathroom and sat in there and tried not to giggle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely worthy moment of the week right there. That's done. Yep, double double worthy moment of the week. Uh, double up on it. Is that the first time we've done that? Um, I think we've done it a couple of times. Well, I think it might be the second time if we've ever done it at all. Yeah. So that means that we've negated them. It never happened, so we can do oh. it again in the future. Excellent. <laughs> That's how math works. Yep. <laughs> so predictions for next week? Um. Oh God, I guess just more of the same. Wilbur riding his piano, Mary riding <laughs> Wilbur's old piano that he should be riding. Yeah. Um. I think that we've entered what happens frequently in Mary Worth is that there's they that Karen Moy doesn't know how to end the storyline, so she just yes. keeps going. Uh, and I think it is just going to continue going for... Oh, here's a good prediction. I think it's going to go on for the rest of next week, and there'll be a new story hook on Sunday next week. There's my prediction. Yeah, that sounds like a good prediction. Um, I also think they're going to do what they did at the beginning of this storyline... Mm -hmm. And they're going to be following a completely different storyline, like, yep. interspersed between the new yeah. one. <laughs> and then that other storyline will go nowhere. Because remember, Mary went to, like, went to the hospital yep. and stuff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to happen. Yep. So, we predicted. Yep. Now are we going to thank? Yeah, sure. Why don't you start us off? Um, I'm going to thank the Aquavats for, uh, making a song called Sequence Erase that we stole illegally. We use it as the, yep. uh, we use it as a theme song for our podcast. It's that thing that goes, yeah. Some that of one. that ska music? Yeah, ska music. That's I what it's it, called. I think that's how it's pronounced. And all those ska kids go out and do that dance they call scamping. Yep. <laughs> Scampering around. <laughs> Scampering around, wearing their checkered hats. That's <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so cute. <laughs> That's a big thing in skay culture is the checkered hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank the Robot Beach Boys for being some old dudes who wrote some songs back in the 60s. And then uh, also, somebody probably in the 1980s. Oh yeah, they're also robots. But then some guy, probably in the 1980s, made a crappy-sounding MIDI of their song, California Girls. We play that at the end of the show! Hooray! Who else are we thanking this week? Oh, I don't know. Who, who else do you have to thank, Sam? Um, on Facebook, I'd like to thank uh, Chris, the book writer. I'd like to thank my old buddy, Ben. Ben said something! He he liked it, or reblogged it, or whatever you do on Facebook. Yay. I'd like to thank the Murphys, Patrick and Jonna. I play D and D with those two jokers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who do we need? Who else do we need to thank, Eric? Who you got? Um, uh, on on our uh, flashback episode. Remember that one? Episode nineteen, Origins. Eighteen. Eight, yeah, eighteen. <laughs> you know, I'm just on the fucking show and make it every week. It's not uh, like I'm supposed to know this crap. Uh, from a, a user, uh, Kafka Junior, who said that they appreciated the, my use of the uh, the last flashback sound effect. So Did you say Kafka? Thank you. Yep, I said Kafka. You, uh, you know that. You know that character. 
Yeah, I loved that guy from Chrono Trigger. Oh yeah, he was a, he was a great uh, great hero from that game. It was great. Wasn't it the wasn't Kefka the main character of Chrono Triggers? Yep. Okay. I think so. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. It's getting kind of uh, Kefka esque in here. Hey! Uh-huh. It's a joke. That was a good one. I'd also like to thank Bartek again this week at Because Human. So thanks, everybody. Thanks, Twitter. Should be mwah, 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 mwah. Those are your kisses. I'm gonna kiss the little bluebirds. Kiss those little bluebirds ah. right on their little beaky beaks. <laughs> All right, so Eric, we had a good week this week. We got back yeah. in our bodies. Yeah, it feels it feels good to be back. But uh, but hey, man, what are we gonna do with all these diamonds? Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna throw them out. But don't throw now, them now out. That you, now that you mention it. Um, Eric, look closely at my eyes. Yeah. Stare deep into the pools of my eyes. Did you? Did my? Are my pupils turning into dollar signs yet? They sure are. Oh, this is really painful, and I can't really see. So I'm gonna let him go back. Okay. We're millionaires. <laughs> How did you do that with your mouth? I, I have a lot of talents. Uh, you're like that guy from the police academy. Are we going to do, like, a baby crying or a siren? Yeah, do them both at the same time, I dare you. Okay, right now. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, anyway, my name is Sam Millionaire. And I'm Eric, Eric the Millionaire. And remember, you'll find boredom where there is the absence of a good idea. And that was your week in Merry Worth, for what it's worth. We're millionaires. Yay. We're millionaires. 